I started my career as actually a school teacher, and then I transitioned to the role of a university instructor. And from there, I transferred to the United Nations, uh, where I managed educational and social projects. And then from the United Nations, I transferred to the corporate world to an IT company where um, I started as a head of a small e-learning team. And then we grew, and at the moment when I was leaving that company, we grew into a big content development competency center. That was the moment when I received an invitation from Data Art to join the company and to establish an L&D department there to lead it and to help business by harnessing, as we say, the power of learning. And as you can see, actually, as many colleagues in our field say, Quite a few of us are accidental L&D professionals, or as we say, accidental instructional designers. So in my case, this is not true. This is not the case. It's a very deliberate, linear career development in L&D. And I think I was lucky to experience that in all three types of organizations, in the corporate world, in nonprofit, and in state. 